Today we're going to be visiting the highest points in Denmark. We're going to be visiting four different points in three different locations. Two of the points are basically in the same place, you're going to see. So I've started recording a bit late because we had to go get an SD card. So I tried to record before, so it kind of didn't work out. But the first point we're going to right now, we're on the way, is called Himmel Bjorget. I'm, I don't know how to say it properly, but we're going to go there and it's not the highest point, but it's probably one of the most, I guess you could say, iconic points. Uh, if you Google it, it will probably be the first one that comes up and it actually looks like an actual hill, mountain type of thing. It has like a little castle there or something. So we're going to go check it out. And then from there onwards, we're going to make our way to the highest point. So it is still one of the highest points, it's top 10, but it's not the highest anymore. We'll get there and uh, we'll speak more on that. So um, yeah, cool. So I just double checked to make sure I was correct. And the place we're going to now is called Sky Mountain. Well, it translates to Sky Mountain or the Mountain of Heaven. So, quite ironic, that's the, that's the name. But once upon a time, it was the tallest point in, in Denmark. I believe it was 19, around the 1950s. And then since then, there's been a few different locations. And we're gonna visit some of the others later on in the video. We might be in the wrong place. We put the address in and we're just going through these foresty loops. And this is not what it looks like on Google. Um, well, you can see the sign up right there. Kind of see, it should be by a lake. I think we might be on the other side. I think that might be the issue because there are a lot of roads going in and out of this area, and there's no actual address for the actual point. I don't know where we are, but I really like this place. We're kind of like a I don't know what you call this, We're like in a hole. Kind of, there's a pathway leading up. I've checked the Google map. It would be quite a walk if we are supposed to go up this, but we're going to check it out anyway. And then we can also go down. Oh. So we're trying to get to this thing. We've been climbing for a few minutes and we can see our destination. Or if you can kind of see through the sun right there. That little... Well, it's not very little, but it seems little on the camera. But, whew, it's a nice, nice trail, nice hiking trail, nice weather as well. But it is a bit of a walk. You can see right there. So a little bit of a better view. That's what we're going to. The lens obviously is on wide as well, so it seems a bit further away than it really is. But, yeah, it's nice. I'm out of breath. A little workout. I haven't been doing the cardio for a minute, so. We're only 148 meters up, I checked. So we're not too high up, but oh yeah, you can see we're kind of on a hill. So it does look like going down. Might not look like on camera, but. Yeah, very nice place, very nice place. The nicest place that we're going to visit in this video, and that is a fact I can almost guarantee it. Because the other places, well, they might be higher, but it's not really, you know, a view like here. But yeah, this is really nice. So, whew, on to the next place. Now we have to walk all the way back down. 
Meet you soon. Okay, next location we're going to is called Yiding Skovoy. I'm gonna, I've butchered that name, but here's what it looks like if it focuses. That's where we're going. So I've double checked for this location a few times because the official address on Google actually takes you to, to a private area, which you have to go through like the woods and stuff like that, and it can be misleading. So I found a more actual direct address, which I can link in the description or if you guys want, I don't know, just comment down below, I'll give it to you. But um, that's what we're going to next. And this place is unofficially the tallest place or the, the highest peak, I guess, mountain peak, you could call it, in the whole of Denmark. The reason why it's unofficial is because about a meter or two meters, just a little bit of, uh, of the tip is actually man-made. So during the Bronze Age, this is used as a burial site. That's why you see like the rocks in the formation. So it is unofficially, the tallest place without the you know the man-made thing it's still one of the you know it's still top five but with it it is unofficially the tallest and then from there onwards we're going to go to the tallest place so i guess take this as you will it is still one of the one of the tallest but unofficially it is the tallest so take that as you will but um that's what we're going to go to next and uh turns out we was going the right way through through this woods there's a few you know areas which you can park but uh yeah we found a pretty decent one so I'll see you all at Yiding Skovhoi. I think that's how you say it. Ah, let's go. Oh, we're here, and I'm not gonna lie, you can already tell from here, you are very, well, you are pretty high up. Let's see what we have here. We have a nice, what is this? A toilet? Oh, this is lovely, isn't it? Don't care. Let's see what we got over here. We have a whole thing, it says, I believe. Yeah, here it is. Yiding Skovhoi. Skovhoj, I don't know how you pronounce it. But over here, well, it's somewhere in this area, because right there, you could, uh, you could argue that up there is taller than here. But, well, Google says this is unofficially the tallest. But uh, this place right here is actually a memorial site or burial site, I believe, which was used in the Stone Age. Or we have a whole thing right here for those that speak Danish or can read, translate. I don't know what that says. Probably says it's the tallest point because that's what it says on all of them. But um, yeah, we have uh, some stones, some rocks. And this is the tallest point in Denmark. Not as uh, unofficially, unofficially. I know I've said that. It's not as effective as you know the first place, but it's pretty cool. Well, I don't know. There's not much else to see here. There's you know you can uh, sit down here. There's a few benches if you want to have a snack, a picnic. You can go into the woods over there. Or something. You have a car park. Yeah, well, I don't know. I don't know what to say. It's just what it is, isn't it? <laughs> no, that was cringy, wasn't it? Yeah, that was cringy. Okay. Give me the camera. So, in comparison, the place that we visited called Sky Mountain is 148 meters above sea level, and now we are 172 meters above sea level. So, yeah. Now we're going to uh, the officially second and highest places in Denmark. Not too sure what this is. I'll be honest. It's something you build in Minecraft when you know you load up a world for the first time. But oh, we can go up here. I know what this is because I googled it. This is this is the tallest place in Denmark. Can you see? Wow. So this is, I believe, 172 meters as well, or 171. They're all very close. 
but this is officially the second highest point. This whole thing was built because it was thought to be the highest. But actually they figured out it's not the highest. About 10 meters that way will be the highest, which we're gonna go visit in a second. But um, let's just have a little walk around and let's see what this is. I think that means we're facing west, not for south, maybe. I see where we have to go. Right there, facing west. That farm, there's a little path. I don't know if you can see. It goes up right there where that man is going. And from there, it's gonna be officially the highest point in Denmark. It's gonna be like, um, I don't even know. I don't know what to describe. It's gonna be like a rock thing. So we're gonna go check that out. But um, yeah, the views from here are great. Not, not Sky Mountain, but. Pretty nice up here. We're taking a few pictures when we were about to leave and it started playing. It started playing something. Oh wow. Interesting. We're on the footpath now about maybe a two minute walk, one minute walk, it's not far. I'm gonna have to go through this little gate and I can see there's a sign. The sun is really annoying. Should have bought some glasses. Right here. So what we just saw there was the second highest point. Now we're going to the official highest point, which is uh, interesting. How do you open this? Oh, let's push it. Let's go. I can already see it. It looks like a well. That's the best way I can describe it. <laughs> farm. <laughs> yeah, there's a cow farm here. And then you can see a few picnic tables and maybe you can see like... The wide camera angle cannot pick it up from that far. Maybe you can, I don't know. But let's go. Check it out. And we're here. Probably the most underwhelming place we've been in the video, if I'm being honest. The views aren't. Well, we can see some cows. And it's right over there. Let's go see what this says. This is a description about the cows. I don't care about the cows. Oh, wow. If anyone that cares about the cows. Oh, there you go. You can hear some cows in action. In the background, let's go over to the the officially highest point in Denmark. It's right over here. Let's see what it says on the on the board. Oh. oh here it is. Um <laughs> Oh wow. 
There it is, the tallest place officially in Denmark. It's it says on the board 170.86 meters. So it is rounded up 171. The place we just visited, not the one uh, where we climbed up on, but with the other rocks, is 172. So it is high up, but it is also man-made. So it is unofficially the highest. This right here, we're standing on the peak of of the country. Yeah, it's pretty, like I said, I don't know. Obviously going into this, didn't have high expectations, but um, still pretty cool to see, I guess. You know, is it worth visiting completely if you know you're just flying over to see? Uh, I'm pretty sure you can find better things to do. But if you're in the area, like myself, you know, I've lived in the country for about two years now and I've never been here. So it's pretty cool to see, especially if it's near near you so if you get the chance come out and uh, see these locations in in the video they're all pretty close uh from my house it was about 40 kilos about a 40 kilometer drive and then from there it was a 20 from sky mountain to where we saw the rocks and from the rocks is down the same road where we saw the bell thingy and the peak right there so if you guys did enjoy this short little vlog video i don't know what this is i've never done anything like this i just wanted to up the camera and just record something and uh you know look at this back later down the line but um yeah if you enjoyed the video make sure you drop a like and comment down below what else you want me to visit in the country because or maybe not or what else you want me to do and i'll gladly be up for it other than that i will catch you all next time